Thank you, Mr Deputy President. I move that private members' business item number 328 uh, outside the order of precedence be considered in the short form format. Here, here. Here, here. Uh, the motion of, uh, 30 minutes of Taylor motion. Martin. All those in favour say aye. aye. Against say no. So the ayes have it. The ayes have it. Thank you, Mr Deputy President. I move private members' business item number 328 outside the order of precedence. Fishing is one of Australia's favourite rec recreational activities, with more than five million Australians casting a rod annually. Uh, each year, clubs all over the state participate in Gorn Fishing Day, with the aim of attracting new members to their club, but most importantly, encouraging new people to participate in recreational, fi recreational fishing. Uh, fishing is a great local activity that ensures that people can get out of their house, either with friends or alone, and enjoy the outdoors. Fishing is also great for your mental health, uh, because it is the opportunity to just about completely switch off. Importantly, because recreational fishing is such a popular activity across the entire state, uh, the economic benefits of recreational fishing are realised by regional communities up and down the coast uh, and, of course, in our inland waterways as well. Recreational fishing contributes around $3.4 billion in economic activity each year, supporting around 14,000 full-time jobs. Uh, it isn't necessarily about catching fish for the purpose of eating, but it can also be an opportunity to tag and release. And New South Wales operates the largest saltwater tagging program of its kind in the world and has been in operation since 1973. It is used to obtain information on the biology of billfish, tunas, sharks and sport fish uh, and encourages game fishers to participate in the management of the fishery. The tagging data is used by scientists to study the lives and habits of these fish species. Uh, the mi migratory habits of the tagged fish are observed by measuring the distance and direction travelled between tagging and recapture, and this can be linked with environmental factors. Our growth patterns, Mr Deputy President, are also monitored. The 2019 Gorn Fishing Day event was a huge success, with 48 fishing clubs across the state receiving fishing packages from the Department of Primary Industry uh, to run their own Gorn Fishing Day events at six major fishing events at Ballina, Moree, yeah, yeah. Lake Macquarie, Botany Bay, Huskisson and Malawa, uh, and an estimated 20,000 people joined in. The event put on by DPI at Lake Macquarie was a great community event that celebrated their love of fishing and encouraged everybody to get out on the water. The event had free how to fish session, sessions, a casting comp, free bags with bonus fishing lures, uh, fishing tip classes by local experts, a touch tank, loads of kids activities and RMS had a store promoting boating safety. Uh, one of the highlights, Mr Deputy President, was from Snappy the Crab, who made an appearance and handed out prizes to the children. <laughs> Empire Bay Fishing Club held a Kids Gone Fishing Day with 71 local kids <laughs> from 2 to 15 years of age participating with their parents. The fishing club was one of 48 successful clubs to receive a grant from DPI, which they put towards obtaining 36 fishing rods. The club then worked hard to get sponsors from local businesses so that all the kids could get a rod and a show bag filled with hooks, sinkers, hats and magazines. The highlight was uh, the kids being taken out on the Brisbane water and learning how to fish on the open water. The funding for the events came from the New South Wales Recreation Fishing Trust. In 2019-20 alone, uh, $16 million is being invested back into recreational fishing across the state through grants from the New South Wales Recreational Fishing Trust. And I want to congratulate all the clubs that participated last year, and I look forward to seeing more clubs in the future join in the Gorn Fishing Day program. In particular, all the members who participated in Gorn Fishing Day events, whether that was uh, through their hard work on the barbecue, sharing their boats or sharing their knowledge, uh, for no other reason than they love fishing and want to share it with more people in New South Wales. And they ensured the day was a huge success, and I commend the motion, Mr Deputy uh, President. Thank you, Mr President. Uh, it would seem that this motion has brought almost everybody down to the chamber with their fond memories of childhood fishing. And I'd like to thank the Honourable John Graham, the Honourable Emma Hurst, the Honourable Ben Franklin, the Honourable Sarah Mitchell, the Honourable Natalie Ward, the Honourable Wes Fang, the Honourable Scott Farlow, the Honourable Penny Sharp for her contribution and Mr Justin Field and Kate Fairman for their contributions. Uh, Mr President, I do note that the AG, AJP outlined that they do not support my motion, but I do think it would be nice if they could stray for this one morsel of a motion, Mr President, as it would not be the first time the AJP have strayed on seafood, it would seem. 
I'd also like to mention another excellent program to encourage young people to take up fishing. The Let's Go Fishing program run by the Australian Fishing Trade Association, the AFTA, chaired by the Honourable Bob, Bob Baldwin, who is of course a friend to many in this place. Uh, as part of the program, the AFTA, in partnership with the Marine Teachers Association and DPI, have placed fishing gear into 50 schools throughout New South Wales, and the program assists schools to organise and conduct fishing as part of the school's day-to-day -day activities. Uh, students learn about fishing as a sustainable activity, and not only do they learn how to use a rod and reel and bait a hook, but they learn how to respect the fish that they catch and release, and the environment that they engage with when fishing. Uh, of course, an issue that was outlined by many speakers here today. The schools participating include Carryong Mountains High, King Cumber High School, Lizaro High, St Peter's Tugra, St Philip's Port Stephens, Tugra Lakes, Berkeley Vale, and I'm sure the Honourable Ben Franklin will be happy to know that Ballina High School is also a participant. Yeah, yeah. Thank oh. you, Mr President. <coughs> we can't see you. Honourable Members. Stand up. Mr Martin has moved private members item number 328 outside the order of the precedence at uh, oh, no, Gone Fishing Day 2019. All in favour say aye. aye. Again, yeah. say no. no. I believe the ayes have it. The ayes have it.